cannabis, the plant more commonly known as marijuana, is now available in many states of the nation for relieving symptoms such as pain and nausea, as well as other conditions. Research is underway to clinically affirm the many other benefits that patients report. The other side of research is determining how the many molecules that make up this compound are used by the body. An increasing amount of scientific evidence shows medical benefits from extracts of the cannabis plant that do not contain the psychoactive compound called THC, which causes the high. Most people who are in pain, for example, who have nausea, don't want to use cannabis to be stoned. They want to use it because they want to live a normal life. One area of study is of patients with neurological conditions who are now able to better cope with their symptoms. I know there's no such thing as a magic pill, but with all the support that I've had from my family and this team at Yale, it's been, it's been a miracle. An exciting horizon for research is for the many compounds that have been identified in cannabis called cannabinoids, becoming a part of treating chronic diseases and even cancer. Cannabinoid therapy has amazing healing powers, which I've seen in my own daughter and in the research we're currently doing. It is well known that cannabis or medical marijuana is effective in treating pain. Could cannabis be a tool to fight the opioid crisis in America? Using cannabinoids reduces the dependency in opiates and also reduces the, the, the chances of opiate addictions. And there are new tools to help patients and doctors use cannabis products with precision, getting the best relief possible. This is the first time that a patient could not only dose accurately, but replicate that dosing to make sure that they are getting the optimal relief that they're looking for. This week on Innovations in Medicine. Understanding the mechanism of how marijuana or cannabis affects the brain and the body is essential for future advances to help patients suffering with serious conditions. Research is underway to determine the effectiveness and safety for cannabis. Dr. Asher Shmulowitz, Interim CEO and Chairman at Therapix Biosciences in Tel Aviv, Israel, tells us that healing with cannabis is nothing new. Cannabis has been used for thousands of years. It actually, in uh... The beginning of last century, it was the most prevalent uh, prescribed medication by physicians in the Western uh, world. So it's not, it's been with us for thousands of years. We've embarked on uh, uh, looking at partnering with major hospitals in the U.S. and, and abroad, focusing on uh, companion diagnostics and developing uh, a treatment that is uh, personalized. And that's uh, where I think the future of medicine is. Cannabis is made up of many components from the plant. It's a cannabis plant that the cannabinoid molecules come from. There is the uh, THC element that comes from that plant as well, which people know as the, uh, you know, the component that gets you high uh, as marijuana. Um, it does come from the same plant. However, most of the uh, you know, molecules that we are researching are the non-psychoactive molecules. We traveled to Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut to speak with Associate Professor Dr. Michael Block. His research focuses on developing better treatments for patients afflicted with neurological conditions such as Tourette's Syndrome. Tourette's Syndrome is a childhood onset movement disorder that affects about uh, half a percent of the U.S. population. Um, it's characterized by uh, motor and vocal tics, which are uh, involuntary movements. Even though uh, about two-thirds of kids get much better uh, in terms of their tick symptoms during adolescence, the worst cases of Tourette syndrome in terms of tick symptoms are the ones we see in adults. Jackie, Dr. Block's patient, developed stuttering as a child. When she entered adulthood, the stuttering subsided, but the severe tics started. From 18 to about 25, it was, it was hard. Like, I, I couldn't walk normal, I couldn't talk normal. I couldn't stand in line at a grocery store. I didn't go to the movie theater for years. Um, I was pretty limited to what I could do. There is growing evidence for studying medical cannabis for treating conditions such as Tourette's. The evidence-based treatments that I put them on and everything I know to try with them doesn't work for them. And, and so there's a decent amount of data to suggest that this could be a promising treatment for Tourette's. And, and this is one of the things that uh, we often try and I think uh, 
major responsibility as a physician and scientist is to learn from those patients. So about 80% of patients with Tourette's who use cannabis say it helps reduce their tick symptoms. It's been known for the last 20 plus years that uh, cannabinoids work on Tourette's syndrome, uh, but no one's developed it into a drug. Uh, so we are in clinical, actively in, in a clinical uh, trial for, for that indication and, and reported uh, positive results recently.